everybody, welcome to a Cricut Craft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make a decal for a coffee mug. It's a super fun project to do and it doesn't take a ton of time. Now before we get started, if you are new to crafting, new to the Cricut, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out, whether it's in the comments or you can find me on Facebook. I will try to answer your questions for you best I can. And if you're looking for any tutorials, comment that down below. I'm going to show you guys how we can design this in your design space and cut it all on one mat without having to load and unload for the other colors. Let's get over to design space so we can get started. In design space, the first thing I always like to start off with is a template. So we measured our coffee cup, which said that we have about three inches wide and four inches high to work with. So let's just start with a square, super easy, and we're going to unlock our square, and I'm going to know three inches wide, so we're just going to type that in right up here at the top where it says size, and we're going to do four inches tall. What that does is it just gives us a nice idea of how our design is going to fit on our cup. So what we're going to do is use some text, and I'm going to put awesome... Or you know what, let's do magical like a unicorn. I'm just going to do words on this one, nothing too fancy, um, but we're just going to do something kind of fun. So we're going to go into our system fonts and find a font that we like. Now I have a couple of unicorn fonts, so let's see if we have anything that would be really cute for this. I don't like that. And a lot of this part is just gonna be a personal preference thing. And this one's pretty fun, so let's go with this. Now I am gonna need to ungroup my letters. I hate the way the like looks. So, um, whoops, oh, we'll move them out of the way for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and click ungroup on this because I wanna move that I-K-E for like over. I just don't like the way it's sitting and so I'm gonna just select all three of these letters and I'm just going to move them over. It's okay that the L kind of goes under the words. I think it just looks a little bit nicer. And you can move your letters around if you want them to be closer. You could do it with an ungroup as well or you can do it with your letter spacing. But with this one the letter spacing wouldn't have worked. So what I'm going to do now is move each line up just a bit so that it doesn't take up as much space. And now what I'm going to do is take each line and I'm going to attach each line to itself. That way they're each a word. Now there are other ways to do this. Um, I could have detached by line and then gone through and just ungrouped the one word, but I didn't do it that way. So now that they're all attached, I'm going to select all four of them and I'm going to come over here where it says align. And what I want to do is I want to center them horizontally. Now because of the way that the like is, we may have to move them around a little bit because that K is kind of tall. And um, you're going to have to kind of play with that a little bit and see if you like it. You can always move your words around if you want to. Like maybe I don't like it like that. Maybe I want it like this. And you know what? Let's add in maybe a unicorn horn. So let's do that. Let's add in just a unicorn horn. Let's see if we move this up a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search in the images. Now I don't know if there is such a thing in here. So let's just search for horn and see what comes up. Sometimes you'll get what you're looking for, and then sometimes we're going to have to go to design or to um, Google. But this looks like we're going to find a horn. I like that unicorn horn. I think that will work perfectly. So let's insert that unicorn horn. It's going to be way too big. And I want it straight up and down. I don't want it turned. So we're just going to go and just make it straight up and down. And we're going to resize it a bit so that it fits into our space that we have. And I'm actually going to change the colors, so don't worry. I don't like those colors at all. I'm going to do pink and purple. So what I'm going to do is just change this to like a rose pink. And we'll just change this to the purple. And that just gives us a better look at what we're looking at. And we can always change our words around if we wanted to, like a color. So if I want to do maybe like blue letters. Yeah, let's do blue. This is just going to be a really fun, colorful cup. And I am all about the fun colors. So let's do blue for all of our words. And I think they're really cute. Now, it is going to be a pretty small project, so keep that in mind. 
um, when you're doing this. So see, it's just barely not quite going to fit. So we will need to size it down a little bit. But what you can do is you can take your letters or your words that are just a little bit bigger and put them over here and just size them down. Like unicorn fits. It's tight, but it does fit. Um, but magical is a little bit big. And oops, I just want to grab magical. Magical is going to be a little bit big. So you can always ungroup it and move that M over. It's a little bit far over. I'm going to detach it and just move that M. Um, that way we can fit it a little bit better and it can still stay kind of big. So we're going to select the whole word again and I'm going to attach it. And now I think it'll fit. Again, barely, but it does fit. So now what we're going to do, get rid of our template because we know everything fits just fine. And the first thing I want to do is align these guys because I'm going to align them to the left because I want them all to fit nicely on the left side. So we'll just align those ones over. I might make this A a little bit bigger just so it kind of fills in the space. And then the unicorn horn, we're going to make it as big as we can to fill in as much of our space as we possibly can. So you can move it around a little bit and get it to sit where you need it to to fill your space. Now, I don't want my words to move at all, so what I'm going to do is select each of my words, each of my letters. And I don't know why it's being such a butt, so we'll just do it this way. So what you can do is click on each one, or you can go to your side panel, your layers panel, and select them. But we're going to attach them, and what that does is it's going to keep them all spaced the way I have them. And that way it is not all jumbled. So let's click and get rid of this guy. We don't need the template at all. We don't need it to cut. So before we hit make it, now that we kind of know what we're looking at for the style, I'm actually going to change everything to the same color. And I'll show you guys why here in just one second. What it's going to do is it's going to allow us to cut all of this at once on the same mat. So what we're going to do is click make it. And you'll see that it gives us all these three pieces. But you have to remember which one you're going to cut is which color. So that's one thing you got to make sure you do. So what we're going to do is move our piece one of our horn pieces over to the upper right hand corner and we're going to move this one into the center right at like six or seven ish and we're going to leave the magical like a unicorn part right in that corner and what you're going to do is take your vinyl and cut it into the small sections that you need so you know like a two inch by two inch block and you're going to lay it in the spot where your um, horn is for example on your mat and I'm going to show you where we're going to put these on our mat so that you can see this and I think this just saves a little bit of time it's one of those simple little tricks that I've learned that just kind of saves you a little bit of hassle so let's go over to our mat and then I'll show you how to do this I've laid the pink down and then remember or the blue down and now remember we have the pink and the pink if you look at it on the um, mat on your screen it'll show you where it ends and where it starts so it goes to about the two inch mark and it's between the five and the seven so it's gonna cut right in this pink square and then we're gonna do the same thing with this green here we're just gonna cut out a small piece of the green and put that up in the corner and that way it's gonna cut everything at once which is really nice it's just a like I said, it's just a little time saver little trick that you can use if you just want to get your project finished. So I'm gonna cut out this, and again, this is StarCraft Magic. This is the Hoax Hollow, so it's got the bigger um, little granules, I guess you would call them, glitters in it. So you wanna make sure that's down really well. And now we're gonna click Continue on our screen. And this just cuts on the regular vinyl setting. You don't need to do any kind of custom setting or anything like that for this vinyl. It works perfectly on the vinyl setting. Now I will tell you a lot of people go, oh you're using your blue mat. Well my blue mat is ridiculously sticky so I use my blue mat for vinyl all the time. Um, for some reason my machine does not want to find itself at the moment. I hate when it does this and it just loads. So I'm gonna get this cut out as soon as I get that going. You guys don't need to watch it cut. Um, I'll get it weeded and I can show you how to apply. First thing we need to do before we can apply our decal is clean our coffee mug. And we're going to clean it with just some plain old rubbing alcohol. Nothing too exciting or crazy. You can get the super cheap at your drugstore, at Walmart, pretty much everywhere sells at Dollar Tree. They've all got it. So we're going to clean our mug 
with it. And you just wipe it down. And I set it over to the side to let it dry. While it's drying, you can apply your transfer tape. Now, this is a medium tack from 651vinyl.com. I typically will use this for the StarCraft because the StarCraft is a little tricky to get to stick sometimes, especially if you're going to use the Dollar Tree contact paper. I will use that if I have if I have nothing else, but this stuff can give you a little bit of a fit, and I might not have cut this quite large enough. I did not. So let's just grab another little piece. I should learn to measure my transfer tape, but I don't. Because where's the fun in that? We like a good adventure. So I'm just going to lay down that one. Okay. Now, with the Starcraft, like I said, because it is a little bit more um, of a shiny, I've noticed it doesn't stick as well to the transfer tape. So I like to give it just a lot of extra pressure. And especially with this font, because you have these teeny little stars that dot your eyes. So you just make sure that you... Press that down really well. And then for all of these, I like to flip my design over. And I actually peel the backing of the vinyl from the vinyl itself instead of the transfer tape from the vinyl. It's just a little bit easier. And you can go slower this way. And that way, if you see anything that's sticking, like that N that just decided to stick. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the N decided that it didn't want to come off. So I was able to just go right back in and push it right back down. But you do want to go as slowly as you can with this. And you want to make sure, and oops, I got my backing stuck to my transfer tape. Uh, you just want to make sure you're watching as you go that each of your letters and all the parts of your letters are coming off nice and cleanly. So there we have that. Now, your coffee mug should be dry. So what you can do is you want to figure out which side you want your logo on. Now I am right handed, this is going to be my mug, so I want it to sit out. So I'm going to put it so that the mug handle, if you're looking at it, is on the left side. So we're going to go ahead. Now everyone always asks, how do you make them centered? How do you make them straight? I have no answer for this other than that I just eyeball it and if it's not perfect, nobody but you will notice. So don't fret too much if it's not perfect. So you're just going to press it down. And again, with this, you're going to want to make sure that you do give it a good press. I'm going to get my squeegee out and use that. And we're going to go ahead and squeegee this on. Now, don't throw your transfer tape away because we're going to use it to transfer our horn pieces onto this. So we're going to just do this. And what you're going to do now is gently, and I mean gently, <laughs> peel your transfer tape away from your letters and again you're going to just watch as you're going and making sure that each piece is sticking nicely to your mug and you're just going to go around and just make sure it's all stuck down really well so it looks like everything stuck pretty well on that now i'm going to tell you guys i get a lot of questions of what do I seal my mug with? The answer, you don't need to if you use a permanent vinyl. No need to seal your mug. A lot of people go, well, I want to use dishwasher safe Mod Podge. That still doesn't make it dishwasher safe, um, especially since it has a super long cure time and no vinyl is ever 100% dishwasher safe. Also, keep in mind, do not put these in the microwave. Don't put any kind of vinyl in the microwave, but especially not this. Um, it is metallic, so it has metal in it. Um, now, to do this, because it's layered, I like to actually place my decals together on the transfer tape rather than transferring them on to the coffee mug separately, sometimes. This one may not be the easiest to do. I can't seem to see through my transfer tape very well. And that is not even... Uh, actually, it's pretty close. All right. So you can do it one of two ways. Like I said, you can either do it onto your transfer tape, which I'm struggling a little bit because we've got a lot of static right now in the house. So uh, what I am going to do is trim off a piece of transfer tape and put the pink on first, and then I'll bring the green on in a minute. Sometimes it's easier to do it on the product. Sometimes it's easier to do it on the transfer tape. Um, I do it both ways just depending on which way works. Sometimes it's trial and error. And that one was definitely 
going to work better by using it onto the mug. So we'll just flip this over and get the horn piece off. Now with this one, we're gonna need to make sure that we line it up pretty well. So I'm gonna trim around this a little bit so that I can see better. Um, the transfer tape for the, the medium tack is a little bit opaque. It is a little difficult to see through, so a lot of times I will trim it a lot closer to the edges so I can see where it's sitting. And I will hold my mug in my hand and take a look at where it's sitting because obviously we wanna make sure that it's not touching the letters because it wasn't supposed to overlap them. But we also want to make sure it's sort of centered between the ah, uh, the like, and the a. And there. That's pretty good. So I know it looks a little bit funny right now because it's just the pink. So again, you want to press it down. And you want to peel this off. And there's the pink part. So now we're going to go ahead and do the green. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to trim the green pretty close to itself and that way I can see a lot easier where I'm trying to place this on the pink horn part. So we're just gonna do our best to line it up I think actually that's not great. <laughs> not great. The top piece is good, the bottom piece not so much. So I've stuck the top piece on, no big deal. But I'm going to move this bottom piece over a little bit and try to get it a little more even. That looks better. Okay. So now we're just going to peel this off. Let me toss out this stuff out of the way. And we have our mug. Now, I hope you guys can see how pretty and sparkly this is because it's super duper sparkly, which I absolutely love and adore about this product. It's such a nice product. If you guys can't see, I'm going to be really sad because it's really, really cool. Here, maybe you can see it better now. It's so glittery. Now, I will say, make sure you do let this cure for 48 hours. Um, what curing means is just don't use it. Let it sit off to the side. Don't get any water on it. Don't wash it. That way, the adhesive has time to do what's called cure, and basically uh, it adheres better to your um, mug. I think this project was really easy. I hope you guys do too. Make sure if you have any questions, you post those in the comments down below. I am so always happy to answer those for you. Teaching is my passion. If you guys are looking for any tutorials, please let me know that in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit the bell icon, that'll let you know when I post a new video. Have a great day, and happy crafting!